All right, gang. So today, our problem of the day is going to challenge you, but also be really fun. So the first thing I want us to do today is we're gonna use our models. So using our enactment, our tools, our drawing, and we're each gonna create a different model to solve this problem. And you're gonna draw it for us, and you're gonna use the, the uh, models to circle, and you're gonna actually use the red cubes. And then we're gonna talk about how those models are the same and how they're different, okay? Okay. So what's the question at the bottom, everybody? What does it say? How, how many, many tokens, tokens did Anne have before she got the cat? Cat. The stuffed cat. I like to use blocks because it kind of helps me make the answer easier. When I do mental math, it's kind of hard. But when I use blocks, I can just easily grab the stuff and like find the answer easier. I like using the place value mat because I like to circle the um, blocks and then adding them. I organized the hundreds, tens, and ones in uh, in in columns. I think math is a fun study for kids. As you can see here, each of these students is interacting with these numbers. They are using these numbers in their hands on a piece of paper and drawing them so they understand the value of these numbers. They understand how ones combine and tens combine and hundreds combine. And how you swap out once you have a group of ten. They're building foundational knowledge that we will later start using formulas and algorithms to explore simpler, more efficient ways for addition. But for now, I can see that they clearly understand the processes behind three-digit addition. And some of the problems are hard, but it's kind of fun to pick them out. I like math because it's sort of like a puzzle that you have to put it together. Idaho Core Standards, preparing every kid for success in college and in life. To learn more, visit IdahoCoreStandards.org.